Hello and welcome to Pure Experiences Sunday Questions and Answers. This is a meeting for the seekers of path of knowledge and I try to answer your questions, clear your doubts and provide any guidance to the newcomers. These meetings are now held every Sunday in the Pure Experiences group and they will be published for everyone online so everybody is welcome to participate in the group i am going to give you the links and those who are watching on youtube they can ask their questions in the comments so all questions are most welcome this meeting is purely in english please do not ask in any other language this meeting is only for english speaking people so all questions are most welcome hopefully many of your questions will be answered in the essence of knowledge program which is being conducted online and if you still have any doubts remaining this meetings will be helpful question by seeker knowledge is natural ignorance is also natural then my direct experience existential questions should also be natural we should act as motivation for seeker then why suffering or unsatisfaction has to act as catalyst for spiritual progress yes they are catalyst like you said they are not necessary the meaning of catalyst is it speeds up the process but it is not absolutely necessary to have suffering or dissatisfaction natural curiosity is enough and actually people who do not have curiosity they do not search even if there is suffering even if there is dissatisfaction they will try to fix their situation instead of searching for answers deeper answers spiritual topics so asking questions is also natural and asking questions is not necessarily due to ignorance because the meaning of the word ignorance especially in our system is presence of blind beliefs assumptions indoctrination and you must have seen that these people never ask questions they want confirmation of their beliefs there is no doubt in their mind that i am somehow ignorant so again curiosity is the most natural state of any person ignorance kills it suffering catalyzes it now there is suffering so there is an urgency to know so somehow many people think that uh, if you are not suffering you will not go in spirituality but that is not true actually if you are suffering you will never think of spirituality you will first want to get rid of suffering you will try to mend the situation rather than reading books or going to a guru you need a doctor when you are you have pain you don't need medical college degree you won't go to medical college to study what is causing pain you simply want medicine so what happens is when the suffering goes away and if there is a little bit of curiosity in the mind only then the person starts searching why is there suffering it takes a very very intelligent and clear mind to ask this question so suffering can catalyze the curiosity ultimately it is desire to know what is curiosity desire to know and suffering causes this event to happen questioning event to happen quickly it is not the cause of spiritual seeking the cause is always an intelligent mind who wants to know the answers and even if there is no suffering or dissatisfaction this curiosity will arise and ignorance will actually kill the curiosity what happens is ignorance causes suffering then the suffering reawakens the curiosity only if there is intelligence only if the person is willing to question their own belief they will start seeking otherwise they start blaming something or other somebody or somebody else i have never seen a person who went to an ashram because they were suffering or they went to a guru to ask the deepest questions who am i what is this illusion nobody goes to ashram for that but still we see people going to ashram we still see people going to these gurus 
so called motivational speakers and uh, the tantrics magicians they are not going there for spiritual purpose they are going there to find a solution to their problems because their problems are worldly the solution will be in the world but what is the ignorance there that i'll get a magical solution without doing anything probably these big people so called big people they know some magic they will fix my situation which is worldly situation and the guru never fixes the situation the guru is looking for signs of curiosity that okay come here sit down listen to my lecture probably they will listen they will learn something and they will ask a question this is the hope of the guru that anyhow they are here let me see what can be done so sometimes false solutions are given sometimes very common sense solutions are given which even your neighbors can give they are quoted in spiritual language so nobody finds a solution in the ashram of their worldly problems for some time they forget their problem when they go back to the world the problem is same so they come back in ashram because it was better here <laughs> there were less annoying people in the ashram although nowadays annoying people are everywhere but some seekers they escape the world thinking that the problem is in the world and they think that yes with the guru in the ashram or in a remote island in mauritius in bali finally i'll find the peace and the truth this is simply covering up the ignorance escaping only a curious person with a urgency to know will find answers because of their ignorance because of the society the culture the atmosphere in the society they are discouraged to ask this these questions deeper questions even in your schools and universities the deeper questions are not asked or whenever somebody is bright enough to ask these things they are given books look this is written in this book the great philosopher said this thing about that and they are made to memorize all these things and write down in their exams so that kills all curiosity and they think that all the answers will be found in books and universities the right answer is the one which is written on the blackboard by the professor so in the society reverse happens the curiosity is discouraged so what is the final way that is left for the person dissatisfaction only one out of 1000 will become dissatisfied with their education their system their society their books and their ashrams and their gurus and one out of 1000 will turn their suffering into an opportunity for seeking the rest they remain there even the catalyst fails for many people so it is a slow process very slow process as soon as there is a right question the knowledge happens in 5 minutes but it takes 5 lifetimes to ask that question it takes such a long time to even ask the right question that sometimes we misunderstand this as a process of enlightenment no it is simply a process of arriving at the door of enlightenment enlightenment means knowledge of myself because there is no other knowledge really so many lifetimes are spent to become ready as soon as you are ready there is somebody present there to hand over the right answer before that even if you try to educate that person nothing happens which must be our day to day um, experience now especially those who are in the knowledge dissemination it doesn't matter what you do even if they are not asking any questions even if they are suffering a lot you put the knowledge before them it is ineffective so what is missing there suffering is there dissatisfaction is there ignorance is there everything is natural why is there no knowledge why is there no willingness to learn and this is where the grace comes the concept of grace which we have discussed many times now the one who is under the grace will ask nobody else whatever uh, ingredients he has written here for the catalytic reaction even if everything is present and grace is absent nothing will happen so the guru waits interesting thing is going to the guru accelerates the grace 
that is another catalytic process you have everything which is necessary for knowledge including suffering dissatisfaction whatever boredom big degrees intelligence logic but the grace is not there but uh, approaching a guru causes grace although it is not um, totally deterministic you cannot say that uh, going to a guru will definitely give me knowledge no they do not go to guru for knowledge because this expectation is not there they do not get it but it accelerates the event of grace so you must have seen that even if you go to a guru with a worldly problem with a stupid problem expecting some magic the guru never says don't come sometimes the guru offers false solutions and sometimes they are given something that if you practice this probably the grace will happen quickly and it is some kind of prayer most of the time sometimes because people are reluctant to pray also these days so it is embedded in a ritual which looks like magical ritual will this cause knowledge no it never causes anything it gives a false hope that my problems will be gone but there is some kind of transformation problem no never goes away or you can say that the solution never happens worldly solution but sometimes the person becomes interested in knowing i am doing this i am doing that i am praying like this nothing is happening let me go and check with guru so hopefully has not forgotten the guru so next time guru gives him something else this is we are talking about the progressive path and by that time hopefully the worldly problems are gone but the person is now interested most of the time if the worldly problem is solved and there is no need for a person to visit the guru again there is no need to do anything forgets the guru forgets the practices oh, my problem is solved now why should i practice they think like this there is one in thousand one in thousand who becomes interested now his problem is also probably solved now his because of listening to the guru because of reading books watching videos and such things like this probably little bit of intelligence has awakened and here the curiosity comes back and this looks interesting i had problems yes yes no it's gone probably or i can solve them later this is interesting what the guru is telling me although many people do not recognize the importance of spiritual teaching they find something interesting there and so he goes back to guru this time not with a problem this time with the right question why did you say the world is illusion this is what we call crack in the head somehow grace has happened there is a crack in the head now we can feed a little bit of knowledge through that crack early it was completely made up of stone solid there was no way to insert anything there hopefully nobody is getting bored if there is any more question you can type it here questions should be only in english this is also called surrender in our terminology normally in english the word, the meaning of the word surrender is very bad it means to give up or to lose the battle but the spiritual surrender is only this much to ask the right question to become available for the answer now probably in these all these years and months the guru must have told the answer 100 times because what do we do in the satsang in the program in the videos in the books all these thousands of books the answer is repeated all the time but only now because of this surrender little bit of surrender something will be grasped and in our terminology in um, you can say my tradition <laughs> we say that now there is a possibility a possibility has opened now how do we know we know magic no we don't know anything actually we know only from the question of that person if there is possibility or not as soon as there is possibility now the guru is interested and you will be very lucky if the guru becomes interested in you because it is a matter of days now he can end the episode in one day so the whole struggle of spiritual seeking is making yourself available to the grace listen to your guru surrender surrender is in mind 
you don't need to do anything else do not offer money do not offer property do not write songs about guru do not worship the guru that is not surrender that irritates the guru but the guru smiles because people are like children what is the right surrender to ask the right question after that nothing needs to be done this is also called the receiving posture now see there are so many names we have taken all of them from many many traditions surrender grace possibility readiness receiving posture so many names are there once this is reached then the guru takes over then the seeker has no say there after surrender the life of the seeker is governed by guru that does not mean that guru is ordering him commanding him for to do everything no the words of the guru change everything this is also called the guru command this is this is not <laughs> something magic this is not uh, some kind of order words cause tremendous change in the seeker simply because he surrendered what is the change will he become happy will his problems go away will he become rich or young or will get powers no he gets knowledge what is knowledge nothing all all that was stored in the mind is washed away it is a destruction knowledge is a destruction purification removal anybody wants it and you can guess no nobody wants it this is called the resistance of the ego because in this washing away the ego is also washed away which nobody likes really i also don't like it this i is the ego and then practice begins if you don't have any resistance at the time of the event of grace or you can say knowledge then you don't need any practice actually if there is resistance you will be given many many practices for some people they will last for their lifetime so this is called post enlightenment syndrome something like this we used to discuss all these things in the old satsang it comes back the whole the whole ignorance comes back with revenge nothing to worry once there is knowledge there will be some up and down but ultimately everything is cleared smuni is asking can you share more about the light worker portal so you must have guessed because you are here since many days this is another play like every other project that we are doing it is another drama so what is the purpose just like everything else the purpose is to play we don't have any serious purpose this is the most serious thing to do to play so we are playing there why it is manifested in that form nobody knows i also don't know i was simply told that your students are doing nothing give them something to do <laughs> put them on the job so i saw that there are some seeds in our group who have uh, desire to somehow benefit everybody so to cultivate that seed we needed some kind of instrument and because we do everything online this is online it will not go offline there is no possibility for that but those who have resources they can gather offline they can do it offline but uh, the job is so easy and uh, the trouble of arranging the events and traveling and calling these people every week somewhere it's too difficult it is best to do it online in future we'll take it into non physical if i find some seeds by i i don't mean myself there are some other people above me <laughs> who are watching so it is a, 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 another way to filter out the seeds who can progress forward but it will have a good effect the experiment is uh, has many you can say agendas that first this thing we want to find out we want to give you something to do to keep the group uh, adhered together because i have seen that uh, if people are not doing something together they scatter away they go away somewhere i am not worried that they will go away where will they go everybody is here only but uh, such kind of activities somehow keep everybody together and the second agenda is that we want to see if so many people with knowledge if they do this kind of prayer what happens so one or two 
agendas were there reasons were there i don't know the rest of it why i was told to do that it is happening since many years now but it never happened online as far as i know is yes, the meetings were scheduled online many times i've seen some people were doing it uh, on zoom video calls online meetings and so on and they call that healing sessions not uh, something like this and i think this is the first time which is where nobody can see each other but only a play of intention here we have removed uh, the you can say lower layers by lower i don't mean that they're bad layers no no we have removed uh, the unnecessary no need of cameras and no need of scheduling meetings and <laughs> gathering it is uh, purely a play of intention which is involvement of the higher layers hopefully everybody understands yes it has good effects although it is play but play makes it entertaining the, the good effect is you know immediate good effect will be that you will see that uh, you feel nice this person feels good and the ego also feels good i have done something the ego always wants some kind of returns isn't it holding of the intention obviously will have good effects still experimental it is still going experimentally that is why i do not announce it anywhere except one or two groups only yes online makes it very easy no need to schedule anything no need to call anybody no need to worry about what to heal what is healing i don't know how to do there, there are no such issues here it is so simple even a child can do it i think for whole of our lifetimes we are demanding something for me 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 only all our demands are for myself so we want to see what happens if you pray for everybody that includes me obviously because me will not leave me so everybody at least once in a week for few minutes even if uh, the person is the highest kind of seeker their desires are self centered i should progress i should benefit so on you see so for a change there is something else for the benefit of all so those people who know the shanti mantra and all they must have noticed that it is exact copy of that shanti mantra except we have added some things for the modern uh, time it is a little bit longer so lela is saying what is this change that is coming into the world is that why you started the port when was there no change can you tell me was there any time where the world was not changing change is always there it is all impermanence all the time now we do not control the change it will change we can pray for a better outcome that is why we have started the portal our praying will not cause uh, any kind of change here or any uh, we are not trying to turn it into something which we desire no so change change is always there the only thing is there will be some changes which never happened before that is what i was told so <laughs> probably this will help some way this whole concept of light worker is that uh, we or those who think they are the light worker their job is to make it easy to make the change less painful easy like a play we don't cause changes we don't stop changes we don't try to bend them no 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 this change is happening now we need to pray for something else no it is simply causing a little bit of easiness so let us see because it is experiment there are no definite outcome of these experiments we need to do them and see the outcome probably will never know what happened because of this portal what effect it had what happened what change happened we will never know all these things because human beings are too small but this is as you know commands we need to obey the command Muni Singh, can this be shared in other groups now? Yes, you can share them. You can share it with everybody. <clears throat> the only thing is, a little bit of testing was going on. There, there were some issues in the site, but I think now it is working nicely, 
at least i wanted to ensure that it opens for everybody without fail because it is complete blind the uh, nobody is operating it it is happening by itself it is programmed like this complete blindness is there are you seeing that are you seeing the prayer we don't know anything because there is no way to communicate also uh, i wanted to ensure that it is working i think it is working so you you can roll it out like you can you can tell some people five or 10 people to join then it will be posted everywhere and i think there won't be more than 50 60 people per session so that much is enough for our purpose and i don't know for how long this will continue the current uh, direction is uh, end of 2025 we need to do it till the end of 2025 after that i don't know if everybody likes it will keep it running or like other projects something else will start because like she said change is coming it's always changing old projects they go away new new start madhuri is saying when we join together we feel the connectivity and all intentions are beautiful the online most effective at school i had started for colleagues also for the process, progress of children very good yes it is totally feeling based and that uh, that's why it was started in the tantra bodhi at first because you know, you all know those who are in tantra bodhi they know the meaning of intention holding intention and the meaning of reciting the words the word is not a word for you now that much you know probably in this group less people know it so that will encourage your um, non physical senses to come online that is why you can see there is a visual there it has no specific shape so that you don't uh, <laughs> become fixed on something your mind gets freedom to roam in the non physical so on there is some thinking that is behind the design of the site because it is completely blind you have no way to distract yourself hopefully and that is why it is kept very late in the night at least for uh, indian people it is late we are leveraging mother nature it will be night time it will be silent hopefully everybody will be asleep that gives your mind a chance to access the non physical and according to tantra bodhi that intention has more power you can say the prayer now also isn't it it's always running there but at the time of opening of the portal there will be combined intention plus all these arrangements a flooring of distractions and we want to see what happens and all you guys are mostly most of you have finished the program uh, this has not happened in the world before this is first time that uh, many people with self realization are doing this kind of experiment i'm not saying other people who are doing praying in group are not self realized they are but uh, this is a different tradition you can see that it is a little bit different these um, there is a light worker culture there but uh, they have a totally different uh, definition of self realization or enlightenment it is more like intuition compared to our system which is very very logical and rational and uh, grounded this this has happened for the first time uh, in modern time you can say there was ancient times when this was uh, routine like every day they used to sit in front of fire you must have seen that ball looks like ball of fire so yag and they used to obviously say mantras and there was the intention there and they were all self realized probably more than that very very highly evolved spiritually evolved people were doing these rituals we don't know what effect it had <laughs> as you know it's all destroyed but that's why i said we are not trying to change something we are trying to put our intention into whatever is changing already so yes those who have resources they can start this kind of uh, weekly prayers it is not even a prayer because we are not asking anybody for anything holding of intention now an ordinary person like students school they will not understand the meaning of holding the intention sankalp 
So they must, they should be told that it is a prayer to the God. Probably that much they will understand. And because they don't have the self-realization, they don't have the tantric backgrounds like you guys have, and they have these all these concepts, their intention is very weak, very weak. But still you can try. I'm not saying that <laughs> it will be completely useless. No. Like she said, there are side effects. So even if they cannot affect the whole, uh, you can say, illusion, they can uh, get the peace or some kind of satisfaction out of this process. The uh, seeds can be sown there. You can seed them for the future. The first question people ask is, what will happen if you do this? And unfortunately, we don't have any answer. Just like I described just now, there is no clear answer. Look, if you do this, this will happen. No, like I've given you some agendas and all, but they are all experiments. We don't know what happens. We hope that the effect will be good. So an ordinary person, the, the intention becomes even weaker if they come to know that uh, there is no benefit actually for them. There is no clear answer. So the uh, intention becomes even weaker. Oh, I'm not getting anything. This is uh, the whole philosophy of uh, light worker work is of giving, not of getting. We are gathering there to give. And yes, ordinary people will not be able to do that. By ordinary, I mean totally ignorant who, who have nothing to do with spiritual practices. Even a newcomer in spirituality knows a little bit about giving, serving, and they will probably understand that it is for everybody, not only for myself. Everybody means me also, but not only me. This, this much, if they understand, they can join. And we don't want too many people to join because this will uh, introduce noise in the experiment. And those who study science, they know we don't want noisy data. And we, we won't come to know why. if it failed, we won't come to know why it failed. If it is successful, we won't come to know. So those who can hold their intention, they are eligible and they should be told that it is not for getting anything, it is for giving, it is a contribution, this much. I think I've written there in the guide, in the guidelines, do not expect anything. Probably you will get more work. <laughs> if you have the light worker seed, you will be given more to do. Forget about getting anything. Lila is saying, can we join at different times on our own and do the intention? Yes, yes. There is a different effect of joining together. But uh, if you want, you can join at other times. It will not show you that the portal is open. <clears throat> but uh, it will show you something. You can even say that uh, my intention will become effective at the time of opening a portal. Like uh, saving that intention. Adding a timer to that process. So the timer goes off exactly when it opens. Add this intention in your intention because this is illusion. You can do all, all these things. There are no rules. Madhuri is saying that so only few teachers have been involved. Yes, and those who can grasp the meaning, they can contribute. Rajit is saying, I guess this might work as a yantra for all. Yes, yes. Exactly. Yantra is what? Simply uh, external manifestation of what is in your mind. It helps as a device to align your mind to your intention. So you, you can see, yes, it is Yantra. It is a device. The whole software is like made like this. That is why I said it was never done before. Why they told me? Because you see, here is the right combination of uh, abilities. I have the group. I am guiding you. You are tantric initiates. You, <laughs> you have the self-knowledge. You are all online. You don't have any financial, personal issues. Even I don't. And I have the know-how, technology. And this combination is actually, I don't know, but it's not present in the world that much today. That is why our groups are special. That is why whatever we are doing is very important. I'm not, I'm not saying that there is nobody like this. But there must be. They must be doing something. We don't know actually. So I was told to start this. And hopefully people will see it. Hopefully they will start their own portals. You can guess by this thing that 
this was a whole system in the ancient time where one day and one time was decided where everybody prayed in that country whole country or whole region you call it a festival nowadays <laughs> it was not festival that mahurat it is called mahurat is an auspicious time this was programmed like this in the ancient time on this day this year this month this time time of sunset sunrise whatever you know whatever instruments they had for that kind of precision you will do this in this ritual everybody now you can understand why they did that you can also understand how corrupt it has become now it is all lost so we are reigniting now we are restarting it is already there in many many forms uh, healing group healing group praying but uh, my opinion is that uh, it is slightly superficial or the intentions are very local by local i mean self centered not worldly so anyhow whatever is happening good we we are doing a tiny contribution there now hopefully it will be it will produce some good effects although like i said it is a play we do not invest too much i must do it otherwise something bad will happen no never think like this or if i miss it i don't do it i won't progress no it is not like this also shunne is asking also tell something about the divine consort purpose and benefits of this so again why should i tell you every time the whole purpose of whatever we do is simply play divine play you can say while playing if somebody gets knowledge somebody progresses good if they don't no problem nothing serious at all so it is another play why was it set up now this is total this story is totally opposite of our light worker story i do not have any permission to set up this tool or you can say website I, i was not told to do, do this actually i don't have permission i never took permission also it is simply another you can say trap for people who think that having a partner will make them happy <laughs> i should not laugh actually some people seriously think like this that meeting somebody having somebody in their life will make them happy now i said why not and seekers have this very stupid belief that a spiritual partner will make their life better like i told you in the beginning of today's satsang people don't come in spirituality to know something or to grow they are looking for solutions of their worldly problems so we simply trap them it is like a net so those who are looking for spiritual partners most welcome i am not saying it is completely useless you will not get happiness but you will progress because you will come in contact with spiritual people and that will cause catalysis today's word is catalyst catalyst so we are catalyzing your retirement from the world you will get divine consort hopefully but after that you will only get divine the consort will go away <laughs> only the divine remains so that is the purpose and benefit shunne singh can you share this who need it yes yes why not hardly anybody has any profile there you can see it is like a dating site but it is based on uh, your spiritual achievements and uh, the achievements listed there are very difficult you can go and see divine consorts website is there it is online but uh, you will not find any match because, because you need to have those achievements in your profile to get a match so right now they, some people logged in there that much i know but uh, they will not find uh, the matches or they will find somebody who is testing the website or something like this no real people so it will take some time to uh, become functional i did not launch it officially also because we don't have the permission to do this kind of experiments it is all hidden secret so those who come across that site by luck by chance they will be able to see it will see what happens so it is another experiment another drama another play i should not say it actually because it will ruin the experiment but we cannot fool people isn't it 
and nobody will get fooled there because it is very very obvious that the site is set up to encourage the seeker to first cultivate themselves when i am saying you don't have this achievement you have not done this program you your score in this quiz is zero that's why you are not getting your girlfriend here that simply means that we are encouraging that person to progress forward you want spiritual partner but you are not spiritual we are saying like this so some of them will take the trouble of progressing or at least they will come to know that there is such a thing and this is not new there are many websites on uh, internet where you can do this kind of spiritual ma- match making they all failed that much i know nowadays it's not very popular this is unique because this is for the path of knowledge on the path of knowledge nobody bothers about these things sometimes we get people who are not on path of knowledge they are so new that they don't even have a path but they want some partner there is a desire left there so we exploit this desire okay i'll give you something try here and hopefully that will open their eyes that yes i need to progress first and then there will be a flood of partners so much so that the whole world will become my partner and instead of trying to get happiness from somebody else i'll become happiness myself so there is a higher purpose in whatever we do it hardly appears when we are doing it it does not look like that i'm doing something higher there and because we do not have permission to do this kind of drama so so far i don't have so it can disappear any time i mean we'll keep doing these projects we'll keep uh, doing these experiments and we'll keep removing these things you know it will be very very fast like you will say yesterday they were there was bodhi ashram website today it is not there why it is happening you can see isn't it in last 3 or 4 years so many things happened we don't even remember how many projects we did so that will be very fast change so like you are learning i am also learning and uh, my guru is watching <laughs> what kind of stupidity is going on here but i hope everybody is enjoying that is the important thing isn't it education but also enjoyment if you are not enjoying the path of knowledge program or satsang or tantra bodhi there is no point then enjoyment is our first priority so here we'll end today's satsang hopefully um yes mone is enjoying so i am also enjoying and uh, hopefully we will keep doing this madness and today we'll end our meeting here thank you everybody for uh, attending today's sunday q and a i'll see you next sunday